opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. e6 prepares for a quick d5 pawn push and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. e4 takes full control of the center, and allows the light squared bishop and queen to develop. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. And d2 develops the knight and defends the e4 pawn. dx e4 opens up the center, captures the e4 pawn and allows the queen to attack the d4 pawn. Nx e4 recaptures a pawn and places the knight in the center. Bd7 develops the light squared bishop and prepares to place it on c6. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. Bc6 places the bishop on an active diagonal, attacks the knight on e4 and controls the d5 square. Bd3 develops the bishop toward the center, supports the e4 pawn and prepares castling. Nd7 develops the knight toward the center and controls the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Ngf6 develops the knight toward the center, controls the d5 square and attacks the knight on e4. Ng3 avoids the trade by retreating the attacked knight to a safe square on the king's side. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. Recaptures. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. It is the last book move. This is a fair move. It is good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This ignores a better way to connect rooks. This permits the opponent to fork pieces. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to fork pieces. It is a miss. This is the strongest option. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is an inaccuracy. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is a mistake. White had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is good. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. This misses an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a mistake. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of.